Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Coral Island. I am the Little Gamer and this is our playthrough of the full release. Now, last episode we started exploring Osmium Kelp level. We did some upgrades, we opened some fossils, we did lots of bits and bobs. Um, so the goal for this episode is to try and find our critter, our sea star, that we need for the goddess offerings. Um, noise coming from I'm presuming it might be the sprinklers um, I'm wondering if that's glitching Ooh, so we have our first pears and cocoa beans which is pretty cool so I'm hoping we will find um, what we want our critters um, so that we can pl complete the offering and see if anything unlocks. It's unlikely um, that anything will unlock um, but that's, that's just just how I like to do things. This is pear jam, pear juice, can't put it in there, we can't. so cocoa beans is something else, so we'll pop you in there, out the way. So I will tend it to everybody and then we will head back down because I uh, cleared some osmium coral sites. Let's see where we're at actually. There we go. So I've done, done two coral sites uh, in the osmium level. Oh, we're only like uh, 200 or so off. Because if we get the next heritage site, that's uh, another chunk out of it. Um, but it looks like rank C isn't going to be till winter. Um, so that's not, not too bad. Right. Tend these and we'll see if we can get the critter we want. Um, okay then. So, end of last episode, I found another activation stone. I just didn't get the chance to to uh, clear it out. So we'll do that first, and then head up to the spot that I've cleared of Gunge, and see if critter we want has spawned. Knowing my luck it will be in the next area however if uh, if it's not here I'm going to keep going um, clearing coral sites anyway up until the spooky festival um, because there's not much else to do it's just a very long grind. So, and the spooky festival is on Sunday. So we've only got today and tomorrow to grind. And uh, obviously Sunday daytime. So I cleared up here you can tell because the seaweed is growing. Jellyfish was the normal one. Mm. 
Okay, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like I'm going to have to spend the time trying to open up the next area. Have we already done that? Has the wall gone? No. So we want to go either up here or this way. So we've got these two. One of these two to try and clear. We've cleared up this way into what looks to be dinosaur fossil area of some kind. And what is that thing? What is that? What? What? A giant isopod. Spineless. Its arm provides comfortable protection against predators. That is the weirdest animation I have ever seen. Ooh! What's this? That's a harpoon. Some weapon stores. What's that? Shields? Or some... Oh, can we go up these stairs? We can. And then we can sort of see over the top. Oh, to over here. So that's round, going round the back. Right, we'll uh, see if we can clear a bit of this out then. So I've come round to this side by the dino, and this is Shrimpy. Don't understand what's being said. So that's the cage is so small. We can talk to them in the cage. But I've never met him before. I can't remember whether I got this far in to the osmium levels. I know I did some and got osmium kelp. a long one. I think it wound round, 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 round twice. So what gift do we get from Shrimpy? You received a fossil node from Shrimpy. Thank you. So I'm presuming we should... Oh, there's more swords and shields. It's an interesting area to say the least. This is the root. Wow. Come on, move out the way. Ooh, sea grapes. Ooh, what is that? A blue starfish. Its mouth is on the underside of its body. What is this? What is, oh, this is the cave. Let's come back out of here. I'm going to spend too much time because it's 
time to go to bed. Okay, oh those seahorses do actually give a lot of money. Ooh, ooh, cocoa beans. I want to know how to make it into chocolate though. Everybody needs chocolate. But it doesn't look like we're finding this critter. <sighs> Relationship. So we should have met more people though. Extras. People Shrimpy and Ang. So where's our catching? So sea critters. Hmm. They're not really in any order I can tell. Because I mean these ruby sea dragons and yeti are in the silver section. So are they type based maybe then? But then I would expect that lobster to be there and the crab to be next to that crab. So those lobsters are together. I'm thinking it's this one here that we need. Extras. Oh Naga, there we go, there's Naga. A majestic underwater dragon. That's all we know about Naga. Hmm. Here we go. So, Scarlet Town residents get ready for the spooky day celebrations tomorrow. Join us in town from 7 p.m. onwards for a host of games, a variety of costumes, and a captivating Uga Uga parade. Fab. So, we're earning quite a bit of money. Um, and the upgraded house, next level house, is 40 grand. However, the purpose of it is to get married. Oh, and our mill's done, fab. So it adds the upstairs to allow you to have a spouse. Um, we are not ready for a spouse. Uh, in, uh, in any way, shape or form. Um, so I figured it would probably behoove me to... Um, instead buy the computer um, and then we can do online shopping and then and then we'll be able to add our critter chips and fishing chips um, so that we'll know where to get everything um, but for today, I'm going to just carry on, carrying on, I suppose. Um, well, it doesn't look like we're getting the critter. So I might go down the fire mines today um, to get some osmium ore. Um, because that's what we need for some of the upgrades as well. Um, for um, yeah, Ruja Mawala's upgrades for the computer, for the computer and the chips and all those Ling's lab. That's that's the word. In Ling's lab so I'll do that um, see how far we get see if we find any new monsters That'd probably be good um, and then we'll move on to the spooky festival okay so I've moved my flower um, flowers and flower 
chest hay chest down here so that it's easier for the mill and then I can do all those right let's go and have a look down this mine then I presume we find the fire giant at the bottom of the mine um, it would be strange to find him any higher up um, but you never know we might uh, find something more interesting but we might also find the mob we need to get our bat wings which is also another goddess offering we need to do so wish me luck we're at level 10 And we get explosives level three. Well, that'll be good for when we get to the end of these mines. <gasps> Our bats. And what are these? Hell skulls. But this is our bats. Oh, I was hoping you didn't see me. They do a ton of damage and you can never hit them properly. Obviously, that's what makes them difficult. And you lower down, but... Here we go. Please drop a bat wing. Ooh. No. He didn't drop a bat wing. I was not in the circle when he hit. But at least we know bats from here on out. So let's hope I meet some more bats who are willing to give me their wings. Just, ooh. Oh, there, there it is. I was like, where's the... Where's the elevator? <laughs> that came up right the other side of the mine. And just managed it to. Mining level 8 plus skill point, max stamina, no. nothing else. I wish we got more like crafting. Because obviously we've got the floor and they give us an arch and a chest. I wish we had more things to craft with like stone because we get so much stone. Ooh, fairy rose. They are going to make some amazing honey. Definitely worth buying them at um, the harvest festival then. There's a festival running today, consider checking it out. Now I don't think we need any stamina. I don't remember needing stamina last time. But uh, either way, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just going to wander around and get any, um, just do a bit of lower level grinding. So bronze ore and like bronze kelp and stuff like that um, while we uh while we wait so uh and nothing else interesting is gonna happen um and then we will head out to the spooky festival i uh haven't heard the ghost though this time Maybe because I haven't been around too much. 
Last time there was a ghost in the woods, but we were still grinding hardwood at that point in early access. So uh, that's probably what that was. But uh, we'll see if we can if he shows up at any point later. Start the spooky festival, yes. Festival. I'm not a fan of spooky. Give me pumpkin spice, that's fine, but not spooky. So we have the Ooga Ooga Parade. Bonk the skeleton, which was fairly simple. Ring toss, which takes a bit of skill. And the scavenger hunt, find the five eyes. And the spooky shop. So, do it every time every time so we'll do the scavenger hunt um while we wander around and look so here is our first one we have our shop here here's the ghost he's the one that shows up we have our second eye Hope you enjoy plenty to do. Take a look around, will you? Mm -hmm. So these are all things for the parade. The haunted house was so scary, but I did it. Mum said I was brave. I number three. Eyes have it. Ooh, chieftain. Winter settling in Goom, it is a great time for scenery snowy hikes. My niece made me dress up like this, don't get any ideas. <laughs> Didn't enjoy it then. Random ghosts. I dress up as Frank the bartender, what do you think? Looks good on you Frank. Oh, my favourite tropical fish. Have you checked out the haunted house yet? I'm presuming that's this. Emma's really good at things like this. I guess she must be in, must be in order to keep a food truck running until midnight. Right, pick up. There we go. The things they made for this festival are so interesting. I'm curious about how much work it was to get that haunted house up and running. Oh, I think I saw a ghost over there. I want to play the organ. When I first saw people doing it, I thought it was stupid, but after trying it myself, I decided apple bobbing is pretty fun. We did that at the harvest festival though. So this is back down here, with no eye here. There's Walter, the town looks good. The Sanchezi have done a great job decorating. Positive energy everywhere, this is where I'm supposed to be right now, I feel it in my gut. I don't think Halloween is positive energy. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't describe Halloween as positive energy. Aha, and here's our last eye. Eye number five. 
You found the scavenger hunt item. Fabulous. Oh, I never noticed this before. That's not creepy at all. So this is round edge. I'm so loving this. Everybody looks amazing. I suppose. We haven't found Waku. I haven't seen him. This event goes on till late. I don't think I'll be brave enough to walk home alone. So here we are, a pink diamond. A rare diamond of unknown origins. To be donated, fab. Frank dressed up as himself, he's so boring. So we have Bonk the Skeleton, Ring Toss, and the Spooky Shop, so let's uh let's do the shop first whoa you look good what about me do i look good everybody looks like they're in their normal outfits shop so we have a kunti ghost scarecrow a pokey ghost scarecrow spooky cobblestone flooring flooring for one room i got this wrong last time and uh, bought them as if they were tiles. They're not tiles. But I do like the spooky flooring. Um, maybe not for the bedroom. Um, purple distressed wall. So these are wall papers then. Spooky green wall. Cute ghost decor. Pumpkin lamp. Stacked pumpkins. Coffin sofa. Indoor witches cauldron home decor. So it's all home decor. Um, I like that flooring. I like the purple tiles. Um, but other than that, I will not be decorating for spooky season. Right, Raphael. Don't you usually look like this? Um, it's a festival, so I thought maybe I could dress up a little bad idea. Oh, there's Waku. Waku, come back. I didn't give you a present this week, I'm sorry. Heads up, avoid Sam. I was talking to him, him earlier and he can't seem to stop complaining about the town code. I think he's had it with Mr. Mayor. Oh, he tried to put pumpkins up, didn't he? In the spring and the mayor told him off. The mayor has a problem with my scarecrow decorations, yet he's all smiles about the millions of pumpkins scattered all over town. Mm -hmm. So we have... Which one's first? Bonk the skeleton. Bonk the skeleton I should be good at. It was ring toss. It can take a bit of practice. So practice bonk the skeleton. Move dash hit. Okay. Not the red ones. Oh. No, red ones are fine. Not the flames. Okay. Oh, because the gold ones come up like flames, because they come up yellow, okay. Right, that was the practice round, let's see. The rewards are a Swoosh Hammer, ooh, that's a good one, because that should be an upgrade to what we already have. Uh, silver ore, coal, okay. Oh, they've all moved. Hundred and thirty points. Oh, round two. Okay. Was this in rounds last time? I don't think it, uh, it might have been actually. Whoops. 
see. Oh, I didn't hear it anyway. 260. Round three. Oh, it ch changed at the last second. Oh, changed at the last second again. Oh, second. I need another. Okay, I need 400 points, right. Please tell me I can do that again. Yes, okay. Okay, so it's red, then blue, then, then gold. Okay. Oh, you got to be right on point again. Oh. Well, this is going worse than the other one. So the switching ones, if you know they're switching, it's better to wait, stand and wait for the gold then. Again, you need to be exactly on point. Three sixty, okay, I did better. The three sixty. Not that I can uh, ride a skateboard, but Okay, 170 points, okay, so it's definitely worth waiting. If you know it's switching, wait for the gold. Oh, whoops. We've already got 330 points, okay. Good. Oh, thought that was gonna switch. Hey, Suit Hammer! We'll be able to try that out next episode. Right then, now's the ring toss. The spooky mariachi band. Ring toss was back here, wasn't it? Yes, okay. So, rewards. Oh, a light ring. Don't know why we would need a light ring. Silver kelp and money. So we want to practice. So we need to do every single one. Okay, so move, space to aim. Oh. Right. And then back in the hit area. <laughs> Hmm. 
No, too soon. I'm not getting enough power behind it though either. Oh, you need to get it on the yellow there. Okay. And then uh, you want it just as it pops above the skeleton's head. Okay. That was terrible. Right then, so we want here. Okay, that counts, Bob. if we have to get perfect. Last time to win you had to get perfect. Oh! Better. Second. So we don't have to get perfect. I got 80, Archie is 110, so that's another 30. So you can get all the 30s and the 20s, you should be good. Right, let's go again. At least there's not a time constraint. Right, let's go for the back one first. Let's see. A smaller hit area. Ooh, it counts good. Let's see on you up. A little bit off centre. Look good though. That's a bit off. Oh, we're all right. And the last one. Ta-da! 130 points. And we get a light ring. Okay, so you only need, so you can have 20 points down, so you can miss one. If you get the 30s and miss one of the lower ones. Okay, so let's check. Bag. Emits small light around the player. And weapon, 130. Isn't that the same as our hammer already? I hope it's not. Look a bit better, I suppose. Right. The Uga Uga Parade. Let's go. One to start, yes.
Okay. No, no changes to that as far as I could see. I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's gone to the nice music again. <laughs> right then, let's put this down. Ta-da! And when I did it before, I noticed that if I swapped it with the same one, I ended up losing it. Not unless it went in my inventory and I just couldn't find it. But uh, I quite like this for like a living room floor. I know we've got cracks on the floor, but hey ho. <laughs> Capital gains earn 250k coins. Fab. So we get 40 points for attending, 100 for the skeleton minigame, and 100 for the ring toss minigame. Relationship up with Raphael and Walter. We made lots of money. Um, and that's fab. So we're going to leave this episode here. Uh, next episode, we will be in winter. Our first winter. Uh, which is fab and we also have 55k goals so I want to see if I can get the computer um, get that started because we're nowhere near marrying Waku so there's no point me upgrading the house just yet even though it's easy enough to do um, but if you liked the video please do all the things like subscribe comment and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!